Hi, everybody. Hey. Welcome, welcome to date. You're not going to show off your outfit today because you just come oh, every week. No, come but here. they can see it on the entrance, you know? No, yes. You know? Okay, let me show full. it. Let me come yeah, go forward. On. Yes, so, yes, turn now like, like Davina yes. the other night. Uh huh. Yes, fabulous trends. Giving us All right, five. come, let's talk about. <laughs> we like it, we like it. Come. I have to really back in it up because. my outfit because his outfit today is um, the I, other side. No, of, I'm just really. Casual. I'm getting festive people. It's almost Christmas. So yeah. I have to like start touching little red and all of that. My people at home understand. They don't Calm understand because they're waiting for December the 1st. <laughs> And no. today is very much not the same. Mine start a long time. On my birthday challenge at least. <laughs> yeah, so welcome to Daytime Live. It's Tuesday, November the 28th. Yes, and look who's back with me. It's Joel! Num dark num. <laughs> num dark num. I miss you. I actually miss everybody. You miss everybody or you miss me? Be careful, you know. All right. Because um, I have mans to choose from now from last week. Like, enough. Line up. So. <laughs> Don't forget to connect with us on our social say. media, Instagram <laughs> and Twitter at TVJ underscore Daytime Live. As well as drop us a like on Facebook at TVJ Daytime Live. And remember, keep your comments coming. And if you want to be a part of our live studio audience, <laughs> yes, and secure your seat, now give us a call at 926-1106. And also watch past performances, buzz and chat on televisionjamaica.com. Come. And remember to catch back shows on onespotmedia.com. No, you know, this is my favorite part. Let's talk about what's buzzing, 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 buzzing. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Davina Bennett, who placed third in the Miss Universe pageant on Sunday night. Now, many, many people mm -hmm. thought we were robbed again. Because remember, Casey Fennell uh, placed fifth back in 2014. What, what do you think about it? I think we were robbed. <clears throat> um, what do I think? I think she did a very good job. I think she's stunning, she's eloquent, she's poised, her body is on fleek, she, her walk is, is beautiful, she's nice. And I just think that, you know, we're in the top three. Next year, maybe the year after, keep sending our chocolate girls and we'll be number one, we'll get first place. Hashtag. <laughs> <Yay. laughs> All right, well, I mean, I, I kind of share the same sentiments. Mm -hmm. In terms of being rubbed, you know, as Jamaicans, if we know when something the first thing, that's the first thing that we say. But I think it was a fair top three, um, Colombia, South Africa, Everybody has something sincere about them. And That's it was, true. to me, anybody could have won. But I just feel the last time Miss Universe had a stunning girl, she won, which was Angola in 2011. Mm -hmm. And I just feel we haven't seen a stunning dark skinned girl at the competition until Davina. And I just feel it's a waste that she didn't win. If you get what I'm saying. I hear you. You know, the last time we had that stunner. But, yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. Congratulations, I hear what you're saying. though. We're going to talk a little bit more about that in daytime. Exactly. Chat. Yeah. And I'm saving all my good opinions for that <laughs> awesome chat that we're about to have. Because we're doing two chat segments today. And we're talking about the chocolate fabulousness. Hashtag black girl magic. Yes. Yes. So, on a little bit of a sadder note. Want, that's a word. Sadder? Just make it. More sad. Sadder. <laughs> um, <laughs> the slave trade that has been happening in Libya is being kept a secret and not being publicized by the country's leaders or by mainstream media. However, you have celebrities such as Naomi Campbell, Bungie Garland and Cardi B and they have been using their status and social media to highlight the happenings. So African refugees have long used Libya, Libya mm -hmm. for stuff like this, you know? So um, it's, it's been a gateway actually mm -hmm. to Europe, but many are now facing abuse Exploitation, um, and, exploitation trafficking. and trafficking. Um, the thing about this is that each person, based on what I'm reading, each person they're being sold for like 300, 400, 500 dollars, mm -hmm. and this is pretty much modern day slavery. Mm -hmm. And it's sickening because you know the first time I saw it on Twitter, um, as well as on CNN. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know. If it's, let me not even mention. I think the first time it was seat. broken on CNN. But it was yeah. broken. Yes. And I was reading it, and I couldn't. Be, I was wondering if I'm reading something fake, because you know sometimes you have to be so careful about where you get your news from. Yeah, because there's news. no way something like this could be happening. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, you know, you see, you see the images; mm -hmm. they're tied up, mm -hmm. blood all over the place, and I'm like, <laughs> what yeah. is this taking place? Yeah, and I'm really glad that it's been brought to the forefront because, as we all know, like human trafficking is very much a thing and it's very much a problem. Mm -hmm. And a lot of persons, when they are sold, from human trafficking, they're sold into slavery. Mm -hmm. So that's something, an aspect of it that we don't necessarily talk about. But um, the, the main, fact that yeah. this is coming to the fore 
is, is awesome. And by the way, it's three, four, five hundred US dollars. It's not Jamaican, for those of you who are thinking Nobody, that's all. Nobody's worth being sold for any money right now. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it doesn't even matter the currency. The, and also, the, a part of the problem is, why is it, it has taken so long? It was brewing and you saw it and people were like, oh, probably it's fake news. Again, because you mm -hmm. don't expect something like that to happen. But yes. over time... I don't know if the push is still there in terms mm. of it being at the forefront in mainstream media yeah. and that's still a, 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 a cover concern when yeah. anything else happened um paris bombing or whatever these things are immediately brought to the forefront and people start you know yeah. facebook have weight name change it, your profile picture and update yeah. and stuff like yeah. that and anything anytime anything happened in africa that has to do with black people it, there's a the delay there's a support. delay yeah. there's a delay global support that exactly is. and true. i just up to now sitting here i cannot mm. believe that something mm. like this is actually happening well the thing about it is um there are reports like they have to be um tried and tested to ensure but i've heard reports that is actually an interim government called the gn that's actually um, responsible for this so that you're talking about the government in libya so which, they're which very the much black, black aware and they're black of people. what's happening you know and apparently there are eight seven or eight sites different places in Libya that this is happening. So it's not like a, like a one-off area over there. It's like a far-reaching, far-spread um, event. So that's ah, very upsetting. Yeah, let's, so. we can kind of move on from this. Like, I don't, I don't, I, I, I just feel really bad about that story mm -hmm. and I just hope mm -hmm. there's some sort of immediate attention and resolve that will that And will we all need this. to talk about it a little bit more. I think we all need to push it a little bit more on, on social media because what apparently happened? nothing happens unless it's being pushed on social media. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm happy to see the celebrities getting involved with this yeah. because yeah. this is a, an atrocity, everybody. It this is. is just like, excuse me, slavery still, black people, I have a problem. So I think everybody needs to be pushing this a lot mm -hmm. harder. Like everybody that has, you know, the Instagram channel and, or and, and the influence needs as to well. be saying yeah. whatever. Plus the persons, like you said, um, that has that kind, that level of power Talk. needs mm -hmm. to be speaking out against this. But uh, yeah. moving on, because, you know, I'm getting a little... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, <laughs> Prince Harry, mm -hmm. the fifth in line to the British throne, announced yesterday his engagement to Meghan Markle. Therefore, there will be another royal wedding next spring. Now, what makes this cool is that there will be a black person in the Buckingham Palace as Meghan is biracial to a black mother from Compton. Mm -hmm. Now, this is interesting because um, the ring was also designed by Prince Harry and a few, a few of the stones were taken from his mother's personal collection. You realize that these boys don't leave, I mean, these princes don't leave their mother out of anything yes. at all. Yes, we love um, Diana. Yeah. I forever. was a fan. I was a fan of Princess Diana at the time, <laughs> you know. What do so. you think about this though? Because I know Harry has been, been around for a while. <clears throat> I know, I think it's kind of... <laughs> what do you mean, been around for no, a while? Man, what do you mean? Come on, mm. everybody know that Harry was not Playboy, always the... Bad the, boy the, Harry. The, the, the William where you have, you know, that type yeah. of structure or whatever. But whatever. he's a baby of the family, so but he wants to have some fun. And he enjoyed that's what I'm himself, saying. and now he's ready to settle down. And he's got a, he's got a nice... A nice, um, a nice biracial there. young lady. Yes. The truth <laughs> is that I am not surprised at all by Harry, because he's a little bit of a... What do you call it? Uh, he's a little bit of a gangster, but he also <laughs> tends to always kind of push the boundaries a little yeah, bit. He's yeah. always been his own person, doing his own thing. Yeah. Don't care what nobody what says, say, you know? Yeah. Well, let's hope so, this one, let's hope she doesn't, um, you know, Queen Elizabeth she and, and no repeat. Of, anyway, no, the nominees <laughs> for the Grammys are I know in. What you're you know where I was going. That's why I'm like, <laughs> let us Megan, go to the you want to take that on? <laughs> No, the nominees for the Grammys, they are in and the <laughs> nominees for the reggae album of the year because you know that's Ziggy what we really care about. Damian Marley. Not Ziggy Marley, not this year. Chronics. J Boog. Yeah man, we have, to, we, have to, we have to support them. Morgan Heritage and the Common Kings. Now we now have a message from Gramps Morgan from the group Morgan Heritage. Take a listen. Uh, give us one second. Can yes, you look here? But the reason why I mentioned Ziggy Marley earlier is because every year without fail, whether he released an album or he doesn't release an album, he's always up there, you know? So that's yeah. why I was like, Ziggy, but he's not there this year. So <laughs> it's awesome. So let's take a listen to this video. Yes, this mm. audio, audio, audio yeah. recording. Yes. Well, it is just an absolute jar, you know, after promoting this album. Um, it's been a lot of work after coming after Strictly Roots um, album and the success of that album. And now to finally put out a new album and it being nominated again independently as Cool To Be Conscious Music Group. It's truly a joy and it's, it's been a great year for reggae. I mean, every one of the nominees had an amazing, amazing year just touring and people just supporting um, all of these reggae albums and Avra 
Kadabra is truly some of Morgan Heritage's best work to date. I mean, albums like Don't Have to Dread, Full Circle, uh, were also great albums, but I think we're showing where the music is going and where the music has the potential to grow. Reggae music is alive and well, yeah. and we are just happy and grateful to be a part of the process. And we say rockers to the world, big up Jamaica, <laughs> big up St. Thomas, Spanish Town, treat. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Nice, I, nice. I hope this one is handed out. Yes, a round of applause. Yeah. Because, you know, usually Grammy for reggae, mm -hmm. pre, pre, pre show, them put it somewhere. I.e. it's not the main there stage now, yes. what they're singing or performing or what's happening it in the award. Yeah, it has to go there. I hope, I don't know if it will be done this year, but that is the direction that we need to go. Because to be everybody takes something from a genre and it's right. just appropriate that it is there. Now, congratulations to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, they continue to do great things, mm -hmm. you know. And some persons who were nominated last year, they are still doing um, good mm -hmm. things as well. And like he said, cool to be conscious. Cool to be conscious. I love that. I'm going to yes. hashtag that and start a movement. So yes. That was Gramps. Yeah, Gramps Morgan. Morgan. So thank you for that. Big up shout out. Like Joel said, congratulations mm -hmm. to everybody. Yes. And while we're talking about a shout out, daytime shout out, Joel. Who you want shout out? Oh to? gosh. You know how, first of all, I don't remember well, any name at all because day. I've been I've been away for like two weeks. But I have a daytime shout out. I'll, I'll go take out a fridge with the AC downtown. Gotcha. And I met an entire family. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the names though, but Same. they said they will be watching in two weeks. So I tell them to watch two weeks again. So if you're watching in two weeks, which is no <laughs> <laughs> daytime shout out to you. Daytime shout out as well to everybody on Instagram, all the supporters that mm -hmm. continue to you know like and support us. Daytime shout out to everybody, the whole of Jamaica, pretty much. And mm -hmm. remember, remember, yeah, people in the bank, Sajikor. To be, mm. to be precise. NCB mm. as well, you have to big up, you know. But I'm sorry, I have to big up JMB as well. And Scotia. Yeah, we know that they're watching. <laughs> We're just bigging up all the bands because we know you have daytime like, yes. on, on screen. Screen and right now. And union too. <laughs> no time ago and I'm like, hey, I mean it. But we're live now, so we can't see it. But you know, <laughs> so shout out to everybody. And I have to say as well, shout out to the person that gives me fruits every morning. Enough love. I'm trying to lose weight and you help. A whole lot. Uh, and, so I and appreciate that. Odessa is saying that she wants some pineapple. No pineapple for Odessa. I know why you want a pineapple, but no, not oh God, today. Listen. Not <laughs> today, Odessa. No pineapple for you. <laughs> but you know, uh, we so will be. Yeah, man. You. It's good to be back as well. And, In your uh, red stripe. Come on, I leave. You know you have an issue. You have issues, Why you have on turtleneck down at Jamaica? I'll tell you, I will look at me and Usher in the Christmas. Calm down, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Joining us after the break, will Joel still have his turtleneck on? Daytime Live will be right back. <laughs>